Whew. Okay, guys. Hello, it's Danny Wanda back from Pecan Grove. It is hot. It's like 112 to 114 degree heat index out here, and it is almost six o'clock in the afternoon and still that hot. This wish sector's done cooled off. We wanted to come check the Mirsakis and see. We've got them in this dog kennel thing. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking to see if I see the ground cracking. I don't see no ground cracking. Nope. Nope. They're long and skinny. I ain't, I ain't seeing nothing. Um, so I don't know how these going to do. They're making a lot of vines, but I don't know if they're going to make any taters. Um, what we'll do is we'll run back to deep south. I want to check my, I have a garden I've not checked in, the Evangelines. I want to look at them because they've been in the ground the longest. We did the Georgia Jets the other day. Miss Wanda snuck around, stole some of my taters, and they were doing good. But I'd like to go check the Evangelines and see what they're doing. Guys, they're supposed to be making taters because they're making flowers. And look, this is on the outside the fence, and it tells us that the deer have not come up in here because if they did, they'd be mowed all this off out here. And they haven't, nothing fooled with anything out here so far. At least not on this side. Gosh, it's hot out here. Um, I, I don't know if what the Evangelines have done. Uh, they need 125 days. It's only been uh, 90. Um, so I guess I'm just going to try to wander out there. I don't want to destroy my vines, but I'm going to try to wander out there and get away from the edge right here. Kind of take a look and see. And some of these are white potatoes. Yeah, the two bottom rows are white potatoes. I believe that's how I had them planted. Now I see a couple. Let me see. See if you can take one and see. That's. Oh, wow. That's a good little tater. That's what I feel up under it. Because this would have been the last row you planted, maybe? No, this is the first row. This is the first row you planted? Come on. I don't want to mess my plant up, but I mean, that's about the same. Yeah. So the Evangelines are, and they're redder, uh, they're redder potato, sweeter yeah. potato. Redder, sweeter potato. Try one of these whites just to see. Oh. Uh, let me, let me, if I can get down here. Oh, this is Evangeline, too. Really? I thought I had... It's the same. Okay, white. The last row? Maybe I only planted one row of whites. Where's the root? Guys, tell me something. I've been told, and I can't... I'm asking you... This is a form of amaranth, I've been told. Now, it has thorns right there on it. Them things will stick you. They're like, man, I mean, they are stickery. But whatever it is, the bugs like it. Yeah, the bugs love it. But I've been told that this is actually amaranth. Now, I'm not sure if it is or is not. See the end of it? I've been told this is the seed on it, the amaranth seeds. Now, y'all have to... I've been told there's a type that with the thorns and without the thorns. So I don't know. Uh, maybe y'all can help me out with that. Oh, there's there's nothing under these. I'm telling you, I, I feel nothing. Look at that. And there's uh -oh. a red potato. This is Evangeline. Okay. So rethink. Where's the white potatoes? Where's the white ones at? Oh no! Come on. The gotta... top two rows, maybe. Maybe I did it the top. Okay, fine. We're the chamber bitters. Oh, uh, chamber bitters are everywhere. There is no getting past them. I'm beginning to think I have no whites. I know you planted some. I just don't know where. But I'm not seeing the ground's not breaking up anywhere. These are red. <laughs> okay, guys, I got no whites. Where did you plant the white ones? We got to go watch our own videos. 
I would have swore I planted the white ones in here. Um. So now we got to find the white. No, because I know the white ones was planted in that container in the little tiny greenhouse because that's the one we planted the white ones in. Yeah. And you thought you were going to have more whites than reds. And I brought those slips over here and put them in this. Oops. But looking out, the white one has a different leaf on it. Now here, uh, the white has a, it has a leaf like this right here, but it's more pointed on the ends. It's more defined. Oh, uh, well, maybe I have no whites. Maybe you only have Evangelines. Maybe Evangelines is all I got. Um, maybe I mixed them up. Maybe there's whites and Evangelines all in here. I don't know. I just remember grabbing sweet potato draws up and having them in a bucket, and it's possible they're all in here. Um, so. We'll know when we harvest. When I harvest, we will all know together. And we're waiting at least another 60 oh, we're gonna days. Go, if... The size of them? No, I'll go another 60. I'll just let them go. I mean, because I'll just keep checking them because that's way too little right there. Now, we'll, we may go ahead and harvest, which I don't mind because, let me put it this way. That way, I ain't got to dig everything at one time. I can space it out. And I can harvest the Georgia Jets. Now, I never did check the... Uh, I didn't check the Covingtons, or well, Wanda did, and she's the one who went and dug them. Uh, we didn't check the Covingtons, and we didn't check the Beauregards. Maybe we should go check those and just see what we have there. Oh, man, get out here in my grass patch. The top two rows are Beauregards. I know that now. Went back, look. They're cracking the ground. Boy, they way down there, too. But, there ain't nothing to them. Good Lord. Wow. Wow. All right, that. we could two of them and make a good meal. Yeah, the Beauregard. We'd need to find a number of days on them. Maybe they're a 90-day. Wow. Find us okay. another one. Now this is Covington next to it. Let me look at the Covington. The ground's cracking there too. I see the ground cracking. Trying to find the plant. Here it is. Man, it's deep under there too. That joke down there. We need a tater fork. Man. I just thought you could do that with your hands. I did the other day. That joke. But I had to dig now. That's got to be a big tater. Hot. Right. It's a long one. Yeah, so I don't know nothing about no Covingtons, but that's it. So, Beauregard. And Covington, they look alike as far as color. They're a little bit different. There's a little bit of difference in that color and that. Not a lot, but there's a little bit of difference in it. All right, two more. One off each. Man. This one's hitting me quite as big, but... All right, so, Whew. but it's still a good size, it's eating still a size. Good size. I'm telling you, I'm burning up out here. All right, one more Covington. And it's a longer potato. Yeah, I so can the Covingtons tell. look like they're a long potato. Yeah, I can already tell the uh, Georgia Jets and the Covingtons will be my choices. Well, guys, the Beauregards and the uh, Covingtons. Still got a little time to go. Uh, we'll be letting them just stay here. The Georgia Jets, we may very well be eating on them periodically. We take a couple, three out, you know, and eat on them. Um, and I know y'all are gonna say, well, I thought they had to cure before you can eat them. No, they don't have to cure before you eat them. Letting them cure turns the starches into sugars. They get sweeter, um, do better in storage. 
But if we're going to be making fries out of them, it ain't going to make no difference. You can eat them right then. But, uh, but if you like really sweet stuff, like for making pies and desserts and stuff like that, yes, you need to cure them. If you need to store them, yes, you need to cure them. And a lot of y'all are asking the questions, where are the videos on the desserts, the, all the things that y'all do with them? Guys, we've got a whole playlist on Deep South Homestead. On our other channel, Crazy Days, there's videos over there about different things for sweet potatoes. Just Google sweet potatoes, Deep South Homestead, and just start going through the stuff. I mean, they're there. Uh, there's years of videos on sweet potatoes at Deep South and on Crazy Days. So go check them out. And guys, I'm fixing to head to the house. It is so freaking hot out here. It is unreal. So thank you guys from Deep South Homesteads.